hours away from getting started in downtown Mobile. That's where Carly Bragg joins us live from. Good morning, Carly. Hey, Asha, good morning, and that's right. Tents are going up. The hustle and bustle is underway to get everything prepared for the third annual brunch fest. It starts at 10 this morning, so just a few hours away. I'm here with Sarah Bumgarner with Lifelines Counseling Services, and that's who's putting this on, Sarah. Yes. Why? Why? Why are we doing this today? Well, this is a fundraiser for our nonprofit. You know, we provide family counseling, financial counseling, and we also run the Rape Crisis Center and the Suicide Prevention Lifeline and 211 Resource Line. So we have a lot of programs that we have to raise funds for and so that's why we're having this fun event. Yeah, and this is the third annual one. Why do we want to keep putting this on and why brunch in particular? Well, we know Mobile loves to brunch and so we thought why not bring something that we love to do, the um, live music, the brunch, our beautiful squares and just have a good time and do it for a good reason. Right. So what can people expect when they come out here today? It's 10 to 2, um, so which is a good amount of time for people to come and get their fill of brunch, mimosas and Bloody Marys. What else can they expect? Well, I think they can expect, you know, we have 16 different restaurants and um, caterers that you can come try food from. So I think it's a great opportunity that if there's a restaurant you've never tried before, like we have Serial Killer from Fairhope that's coming. Awesome. And I mean, it's really good. It's delicious. And so it's a great way to come out, try from all these different restaurants and hopefully find a new favorite brunch spot. Absolutely. And tickets, how much are tickets? Tickets are $20 at the gate. Um, if you want to go on Eventbrite, you can buy them and then just scan in when you come in. Perfect. So awesome. Thank you so much, Sarah. We'll have one more hit coming up at 845 y'all to talk a little bit more about what you can expect down here today. So if you want to make plans before the Alabama LSU game, come on out to Bienville Square in downtown Mobile for a great cause. Reporting live in downtown Mobile, Carly Bragg, Fox 10 News.